the Johnson Central Golden Eagles are ready for the state tournament in both softball and baseball action. Earlier today, the high school held a send-off rally for the Eagles as they hit the road in hopes of bringing back a state title. I was there for all of the action and caught up with both teams, but first we'll take a look at the baseball side of things. Well, we have to do the same things we've done all year. We have to pitch well, we have to field it, and we have to try to, you know, get in four or five runs. And I think they're a lot similar than, uh, or similar to us as, or as you can be. They try to do the same things. They try to pitch well, they try to field it, and they try to get in four or five runs. So it should be interesting. Well, really, I mean, anybody's expectations going down the state tournament, I mean, you want to win the whole thing. So, I mean, that's what our ex expectations are. You know, I think we played a great schedule. Um, and it was very tough. You know, when we made out the schedule, it was like, oh, my gosh, what have we done to ourselves? It's going to be a terrible year. We're going to be 500. But our kids stepped up. And if you look on paper, it's a young team. It looks like a JV team. It's all these freshmen, sophomore, and eighth grader in the lineup. Uh, but that's, that's prepared us for these type of games. And we've lost, you know, I think six extra inning games. And that's the most extra inning games we've played in the 13 years I've coached. But, um, and hopefully now that, you know, we've had that experience and had those types of games, now we're more ready, more prepared for those types of games. Our team's awesome. We're a big family, and we come together all the time. And we have we're brothers pretty much and on our team, and it's a great time to be a part of. It's a great thing. We love each other. Our coaching staff is amazing. We have the best coaching staff, I think, in the state of Kentucky. We have that they do so much for us. I mean, they put us in positions to succeed all the time, and our community is awesome. I mean, there's 50 people here, and we just, it's a great community. I was sitting in sitting at Trace eating dinner, and I heard a couple of old men behind me saying, I can't wait to go down there and watch those Eagles play tomorrow at 11 o'clock. They get it brought in early. And everybody's real excited. You know, both their baseball and softball teams are going, and it's a, it's a fun time to be at Johnson Central. Uh, first pitch, 11 o'clock tomorrow, Whitaker Bank Ballpark, Lexington, Kentucky. You need to get out and watch us a little bit. Just like Braxton Kelly said, first pitch is tomorrow at 11 morning at Whitaker Bank Ballpark in Lexington. And now for the three-time 15th region champions, the Johnson Central Lady Eagles. The girls and Coach Pierce are excited for another opportunity in Owensboro as they look to win it all. I'm expecting we'll be a little more together and calm this time. Um, we're not going to be awestruck, so um, I expect them to perform well. And, you know, we had our last practice today on our field. I practice on that field forever, and it just is a great feeling to be able to go down to Owensboro one last time with my friends. Uh, well, it means a lot because it's, it's good going the first two years, you know, but the senior year, that's how you want to go out. If we can avoid errors, uh, I think that we'll be in the game at the end. And against a team like Massville and Hopkins, you have to give yourself a chance and hope maybe they mess up or something like that. They are, you know, number two team in the state. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for all the support. It's been an amazing five years playing softball with this school. It's just been a good time. Thank everybody for everything, like all the support and everything. Like it's, it means a lot. We're going to win state. That's our goal. Um, I just want to thank everyone that supported us throughout the years, and my coaches have been my coaches since I was really little. So I just want to thank them for everything they've done. It's a special group of seniors. Uh, it's been an honor to be a part of their lives. Um, I've had the luxury of coaching these girls since they was eight and nine years old, and I've coached them on all-star teams and coached them in their travel ball and stuff as we come all the way up. Um, so it's going to be tough to see them go. Um, they're gutsy. Uh, they've showed great leadership, and uh, it's been an honor to be a part of their, their road here. The girls will take the field tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow afternoon from Owensboro as they face off with Madison North, Madisonville North Hopkins.